You're watching PTV. I want my PTV. I want my PTV. I want my PTV. And I want my PTV. 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 You're watching PTV.
You're watching PTV. Hi everyone. Hey Blue App. It didn't find the intro. I'm not sure why. Not oh, now. I, I oh, well. ran the program. I ran everything, making sure everything was running fine. It did well, not find it. Everything's gonna go wrong tonight. So. <laughs> So, it is not okay, welcome Eeyore. Welcome to PTV Live. I'm Arnie. I'm Doug as Taciturn Sidekick. I'm Ben. And I'm Sherry. Taciturn? Taciturn. Look I'm up. the one that tries to keep them all in line. Look up the word Taciturn. <laughs> it's a real word. It's not a Dougism, Arnie. It's a real word. I know it's a real word, but the thing is that we're still using it as a, a Dougism because most people have never heard the word. Or well, don't use it. <laughs> I'm not sure why our live intro didn't run, but it's okay. And uh, uh, you know what? Fox Hollow. Yep, Dougism. Todd, they they what, what was their video this week? It was um. Oh, he made a stromboli. Stromboli. He made a stromboli. Ooh. Go check it out. It wasn't cheesy yeah. and saucy enough for me. And then of course, there was uh, Donna who did a mega stream yesterday, making everything with crescent. Roll dough from Pillsbury, you know, Logan little more than you pop. All of the recipes <laughs> were approved by uh, uh, Richie, so uh, he says that they're all good. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it looked pretty darn good. But Stromboli, yeah, go check it out. Really good. Uh, what is this? Does, does that make Doug Mr. T? Taciturn? I don't know. He doesn't have the gold chains to be Mr. T. Uh, yeah, I guess. Or, or the mohawk. Or yeah, the mohawk either. No. So um, my hair is falling apart. <laughs> or the furry vest. <laughs> no. Well, anyway, I have a, we have a full schedule tonight. Uh, pretty darn full, actually. Um, do you want to start, Ben? I, do you want to uh, go ahead and show the uh, the prizes or the little? Things that you purchased just before the show tonight? Oh, sure. yeah. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and uh, show what, what you got. Okay. Well, we went we went to get um, pepperoni pizza tonight because it's National Pepperoni Pizza Day. And so we got some, but while we were waiting for it to bake, we walked into the nearby Hallmark store and we found a couple of treasures. Yeah, this one is part of the Santa Sweet Ride series. It wasn't an actual, uh, no, wasn't an actual piece of the uh, of the actual collection, but this is a kind of a one-off, is what they refer to them as. And this one is a snow snow shovel or a snow. Is that the membership one, or is that just no? No, it was, no this it, one. It, it was sold. Yeah, this is this was have. sold. It yeah, was here. Edition. Wait, here was it? 2018. No, yeah. we do not have that. I think we do. That was blinking lights. Wow. That's pretty cool, Ben. Yeah, so that's 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 for Arnie and Doug. Is is, is that playing Marshmallow World? Yes. Oh, for yes. us. Yes. <laughs> Really? On the back it says, "On the back it says, caution, sprinkled sugar." <laughs> and then there was, then there was this other cupcake ornament, which was another one that I don't believe you guys already got. No, these we, are seventy-five percent or ninety percent off. They were fifty percent off. Fifty. Oh, that's a little. That they're being greedy. <laughs> This, they should have... for, to be fair, Doug, this is a small Hallmark store. Yeah. So for them to have it at 50% off, it's it's a big deal. My camera looks like it's covered in Vaseline. Yeah. It's yeah, looking, a little, it's looking you're, a little fuzzy. You need to get a swab and wipe it. It's greasy. Because you need to... You probably touch it with your fingerprint. Oh. Okay. Well, uh... Why don't you take it off? Clean. There will be an take opportunity it to clean it. Take it off me. I'll clean it, and then uh, I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay. Well, in our case, we're here. Uh, we're here at the villa. They're in Oakland. I've got my water. Doug has his water. Doug's also working on a little bit 
of prep work for the art uh, craft project that Sherry is going to be working on right now. That's what I'm doing right now too. Oh, good, good. Yeah, because it's it would be a shame to uh, do all of that, get to the craft, and then say, "Oh, wait a minute, we have to sit there and put tape on all this." Yeah. So yeah, and I didn't. I forgot to take it with me to work today to work on it at my desk, and I. It's a good thing I didn't anyway, because it was a crazy wackadoodle day today in the office. I believe it. And that was with me getting there late, because I had one of my old lady tests today that was scheduled. <laughs> and how did it go? <laughs> I guess, okay. I would have loved to have stayed there all day, because it was a bone density scan. And all I had to do was lay on this table that uh, it moved a little bit, and it had a, just a slight, like, almost like a slight massage working going on. And I could have just stayed there all day and relaxed. I could have fallen asleep. Okay, this was not a massage parlor. It was an actual hospital. Yeah, it was at Kaiser. <laughs> Richard questioned my water. He says Diet Coke is the official soft drink of PTB Live. And, uh, well, you know they're going to find something wrong. Indeed it is. And Absolutely. they're going to be on medication like they give everybody a, a sleep apnea machine. Kaiser is notorious for that. Okay. Is is our is our camera looking a little bit better? It's looking a lot better. A lot Make sharper. It bigger. I can't see. Oh, Doug can't see you, so I'll I'll increase your zoom, zoom in on us. Yeah, there you were go. you you had greasy fingers. You touched okay. it with your fingers. Okay. My bad. I know that because I know We're nice and clean. We're nice and clean. Yeah. I always have dirty hands, dirty thoughts. So if if you look behind <laughs> us, you can see the birds. You can see the birds next to me and Sherry that we picked up at Target this past week. Yeah, that's right. Uh, by the way, growing. speaking of that, Ben and Sherry came over for a visit yesterday. We had a lot of fun. So yes, we did. What did we do? We went to the store. We had lunch. We visited, uh, well, a couple of 925 places, one for lunch and one for coffee came back to the house and you filmed me for what I think is going to be my first ever. Yes. You everyone, want to talk about that, Ernie? Yeah. Everyone get ready. Gary made a video. It is a crafting video and it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a long one. And the thing is, is that it's not just a crafting video. It's a crafting video on her own channel. Crafting with Sherry is coming soon. We'll let you know when it happens, but it's all part of the PTV network. We will definitely steer you in that direction to let you know, and you're going to want to subscribe to her channel when it premieres uh, pretty soon. It's going to be within the next two weeks. Your channel's going to go live. So, yeah, definitely. So I guess I need to keep busy and stay out of trouble, huh? Yeah. PTV is now the PTV network of channels because <laughs> that, we're also going to have a separate cooking channel. We've decided to go that direction. Keep the cooking videos separate from here on PTV. We'll keep this for our live. We'll keep this for Life with Ben and any miscellaneous videos that we do. But we will have... I hear a squeaky. Do yeah, you hear too? it's very squeaky. Yeah, it's not us. I'm yeah, not sure is. what that is. Anyway. Now, Arnie, were yeah. you going to give them a sneak peek of um, of, the, of the craft? Yeah, of what they'll be learning? Uh, yeah, we will be doing that, but that's a little bit later in the show when Doug, okay. when, when Doug takes us on a, a brief tour of what's going on around here. So, yeah, we are going to have a cooking channel and we're going to have a crafting channel, all part of the PTV network. More about that as we get closer to releasing those channels. You're not going to want to miss subscribing to those to, to uh, get more fun with that. So makes me, makes me a little nervous because I'm not used to doing that sort of thing. So it's kind of stretching my... We're taking her out of her comfort zone. Very much so. But man, she did such a great job on that video. You're not going to, you're not going to miss, you're, you're not going to want to miss it. So it, it was really well done. So anyway, Ben, do you have a candle there? I do. You do? Yes. Ooh, one of my favorites. Oh, good. I wanted to make sure before I uh, went forward. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Tonight we are going to be doing one that Sherry says that she really, really likes. This is the Sugared Lemon Zest. This is a white barn candle. Let me smell it again. Mm, yes. It's almost like you're putting your face into a lemon meringue pie. Oh, no, that sounds actually pretty good. It yeah. is. It really smells good. So, uh, gonna your taser. Yeah, start the taser. <laughs> All right. Now, Arnie, just going. so that the, your followers know, craft videos are going to be probably a bit longer than what you're used to because most craft videos are long. A lot of the ones that I watch are anywhere between 45 to 90 minutes long. Mine are not going to be that long. Trust me. Because I, I power, when I watch them, I power through just to see what I want to see and <laughs> then go on from there. So you may end up have you may end up finding yourself doing that with my videos. So we'll yeah, see. We definitely want to make sure that we keep them as uh, uh, succinct as possible so that there's not a lot of extra fluff there. Yep. But enough that it's going to be fun to, uh, to watch the show. Okay, just so you know, these candles that we get are usually a little slow in getting started to off-gas their fragrance. This one started up right away. It's It smells great. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah. great. Okay, that's good. Oh, the other thing I, I would like to mention to, to, your, to the channel is that when I'm doing craft videos, all you will see are my hands. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's going to be a, a a different take on it, so you'll you'll yep. you'll like. You'll, I'm sure you'll like the format when you see it. <laughs> I think I left my notes in the other room. I was going to talk about the uh, the movie Raise a Glass to Love. It was the Hallmark movie for this week. We uh, watched the premiere uh, on Saturday. Doug and I watched it live, actually. Mm -hmm. But we did not do a watch party. The watch parties are coming in October for the Christmas movies, when they start the countdown to Christmas. So more on that as we get closer to that. Yeah, absolutely. Ben, Sherry, did either of you have an opportunity to watch it? No. I, 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 I absolutely I forgot got home to watch last it. last night and I crashed and burned. Yeah. Let me grab my notes here. <laughs> give it about seven and a half. Seven and a half and cold crap. Constant. Yeah. Not whining, but I was just getting constantly getting tired of her obsessing to be a sommelier. The movie is called Raise a Glass to Love. It stars it Laura Osnes. And a guy named Juan Pablo de Pace, it was his first film for Hallmark. He needed to get a good scrub. He needed to shave. He was too scruffy. <laughs> I mean, he looked dirty and greasy the whole time. <laughs> the name alone makes you realize that's what he's going to look like. Yeah. Well, he had to be stereotypical, but that's it. No, well, you can have the Latin look, but he just looked greasy and dirty. Hey, Pam, Sam, welcome here. Welcome Hi, to our hey, show. Pam. Good to you. Oh, my God. Pam's here. One of our favorite humans, Pam. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. We're not uh, favorite. So, anyway, there was also another woman in the cast of the of the movie. Her name is Jennifer Hoytner. And Jennifer... Definitely not an actress. She's not an actress. She was actually playing herself in the movie. <laughs> she is an actual master sommelier. There are only, according to the script, and I'm sure she verified the information... There are only 190 master sommeliers in the world, and 27 of them are women. So it's obviously a male-dominated uh, master sommelier. Yeah. You can be a sommelier. Anyway, and, get... and for those that don't know what it is? A master sommelier has done everything to know everything, everything there is about wine. You know even vintages, specific regions. You can even say which particular vin vineyard it's from. That's how good you know wine. And in this case, the, the, the woman that was doing it, her name is Jenna, uh, played by uh, Laura Osnes. She, uh, she 
tried it, didn't make it. And so the whole whole movie is her striving to test again, to be a master sommelier. But uh, of course, you never know what's going to happen when it comes to love. Yeah. Pa well, Paul here says that he gives it four Ben burritos, which is a reference to my eating a burrito during uh, one of our watch parties once several months ago. But he liked it, except he does agree that the woman was a little whiny. She was, was whiny. Constantly. I got to take a test. The overly hyper, overly driven character. I'm tired of that. Yeah. <laughs> totally, totally agree, Paul. Yeah, Absolutely. no, it was. I gave it seven, seven and a half. It wasn't wretched, but it was, it was pleasant. I, we could relate to it because it's in the back of our backyard because we live so close to Napa, and we know the Sonoma Napa County. I see, I did. So we we like that area. Yeah. We're we're used to it, so it felt like home. Out of ten gold crowns, I gave it seven, but I gave it two specifically. One for uh. Locale. The locale, the fantastic locale. And two, the script writer actually got some of the locales named correctly. She wanted to get away, Sherry. She wanted to get away to the Sea Ranch. Oh. Yeah, you have to know what that is and say so it correctly. The thing is, this, and it's not just Sea Ranch, it's the Sea ranch. ranch. So yeah, they said that correctly in the script. It was really... That they gave they got a gold crown for me just for that alone. So they did their research on locations. Yes, oh, they, yeah, did. they did. Really did. And yeah, the, that's, that's encouraging. Yeah, one of the scenes that I saw was right there on the Napa River on the other side from the real built up area in town where they where they revamped the whole thing to help with the flooding in the area. Oh, uh huh. Right there, I recognized all the scenery, so that that was really cool. You mentioned that there was hey, some no. product placement. Yes, there was a product placement of a, a bottle of Hallmark wine. They were walking around a party and she had a bottle of, I don't know if it was Joy or Jingle. But it was Hallmark Channel wine. It was Hallmark Channel wine. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now, do you think they'll come out with the same wine this season or do you think they'll do something different? Um... I'm thinking if it's dated. I'm hoping they do. They probably will. They have to worry about nature. It's not consistent. And if they can get the vineyard that has that Appalachian area of it, and they can say, I want so many, most likely they will. It's how it's harvested. And Napa and Sonoma is freaking out because of the climate change. Yeah. It's a real thing, people. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's and real. Thing. So, um, anyway, we, um, I like I said, I gave it seven, eight gold crowns for that, for that reason. So, yeah, that seven, was seven and a half. That was raise a glass to love. So, yeah, I, I recommend it. You Not, don't need to give it a lot of attention. That's the thing. No, I, you don't. I was doing other things and was listening to her. So that's that's the way it is with most Hallmark films. I'll though. confess, what I is, watched the latest episode of Chesapeake Shores instead because okay. I had that recorded too. I've been watching that series. I've never seen it. I really like it. But this has been the Hallmark movie, Hallmark Channel movie review. <laughs> Okay. Now, um, I don't think I have it here in front of me. Ben, do you mind if I throw this your way? You can talk a little bit about what's going on around there right now. Uh, okay. Now, just a little bit, but don't go into too many details. Just show a little bit of what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, currently, Sherry is working on prepping our craft for later in the show. She is taking... Uh, what are these called? Canning jar rings. Oh, there you go. Canning jar rings. And she's putting crafting tape around. What, what kind of tape is this called? It is called washi tape. Washi tape. And I, I don't know what, any of the terminology. You'll see what we're going to do with them in a bit. But We won't tell you any more than yeah, that. Yeah, this one is yellow with white polka dot or, or, or yellow. The orange area. Orange with, with white polka dots. We've got, and then we've got some fallish kind of colors here too. But, uh, 
Sherry's working hard, so we don't have to do this during the middle of the craft. It'll be ready to go once we start the craft. Uh, there's not much. What 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 else? Uh, Arnie is woefully prepared for this PTV live. He's skating on thin ice with me. <laughs> oh no! It's yeah. He's far clown. He's going to get some chips of something. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean chips, Doug? Chips. I'll show you. Oh, Arnie's back. Yeah, I'm back. Maybe. Were we muted? I don't see him. Is he really I, back? No kidding. What's new at Trader Joe's? <laughs> Forgot to get this ready for, for tonight, so I had to run him back. Oh, you're really on fire tonight, Arnie. Ah, uh, well, it, like I said, it's a full show. But uh, what's new at Trader Joe's? You can't see what this says, so let me... Uh, Zoom in so you can get a better look on this on camera, mm -hmm. and I can actually get some of the glare off. Mm -hmm. okay. That's later. Right. These are caramel. caramel sea salt baking chips. Wow. These are new at Trader Joe's. In fact, Doug went in there last week to pick some to uh, just pick up some groceries. He saw these sitting in a basket, and there were only six bags in there. Yeah, there was very few. And then the um, gal with the very short buzzed hair came by and she goes, oh, those are new and we're selling a ton of them. So I got the shakes and I said, I have to get them. <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> so we don't know what these baking chips taste like. But uh, according to uh, the woman that helped Doug, they're okay. Well, no, she just said they're popular. Now Dawn is excited about the bean baking chips. Okay, so oh, they look they look just like chocolate chips, but they're caramel. And they're, I like salted. I like caramel. Ooh, they smell good. They're salted caramel. I love salted caramel. You want a second one? <laughs> He's not convinced. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Rob Fuzz. I like them. I'm you just know, trying to think of what I would, how would I would you bake them? These are actually really, tasty. really good. Could you put it? Put, could you put them in like a, a chocolate cookie? Oh, absolutely. Could, Any kind of cookie, definitely or, salt. Um, yeah, they don't. Oh, need there, salt. Yeah, there's the salt. It's a, um, just a hint of sea salt. Now I'm not going to oh, open them. I'm not going to open and try these, but Doug also found these on clearance at um, Cloud9. At, yeah, Cloud9. Walmart. These are disco chocolate chips with edible glitter. So you can poop. Uh, so the okay, thing that's so that means it surprises me that that Doug would get anything with glitter. Edible fairy yeah. herpes? Yeah, edible fairy herpes. Yeah, edible fairy herpes. I want to know if it's true that you could poop glitter. I really do. Donna, you're right. Blondies. We could put them in blondies. So. Yeah, definitely. They have mm. those. So, yeah. Uh, definitely. I highly recommend these chips from Trader Joe's. If you can find them in your local Trader Joe's, go grab some because we really like them. So, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Donna says that the glitter chips scare her. <laughs> they do seem questionable now um now i don't have an uh a little segment intro for this particular part of what we're doing this is a new segment that we're doing i have to still come up with it i don't have anything ready but on the floor next to doug next to doug is uh do you want to grab the, what you want uh, pull from the library oh those over here yeah <laughs> Doug and I are starting a new uh, a new little thing on. I believe we're going to be doing it on Thursday nights, but it's not going to be here on fa on uh, YouTube. Yep, we're going to be doing it Facebook Live to start with. Uh, there is um, a Facebook channel that Doug follows called Cookbook Love. Cookbook Love. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rob. And he they will take a cookbook and talk a little bit Feature about it for the week. Kind of a feature. Hi, Rob. <laughs> but in 
But in our case, Doug is going to be uh, selecting a cookbook. See behind us, so many cookbooks, so little time. And so, I've dumpster dived about three quarters of them, so don't <laughs> worry. I did not pay for any of them. It's, it's true. I do the, not. The public libraries here in Contra Costa County have done giveaways. So on Facebook, we will be doing cookbook reviews on Thursdays. So Thursday nights, uh, I'll announce it on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but yeah, just follow us on Facebook and you will see us broadcasting live going in depth on various cookbooks. And this week we're going to be talking about what? Well, there's kind of three, but they're in a theme. It's a, so, yeah, kind of a theme. It's a theme. So back in the day, they made called the complete around the world. And it's old. And you're like, wow, what is this? But what is, is that a Gutenberg this? cookbook? No, a Gutenberg, it, no. It looks like a map with an airplane. <laughs> and it is recipes gathered by Pan American World Airways from the 84 countries they serve with food and travel comments by Myra Waldo. It's actually a cookbook that Pan American Airlines, do Pan Am, did from all of their like stuff. So that's pretty cool. Then another wow. Pan Am Airways. I never got to go Pan Am. This was put together called World Wings International Hostess Cookbook. This was at a thrift store with the Pan American logo. And then you open it up. And it says right here. Um, World Wings forward by... Oh, some Graham guy. Um, <laughs> Graham Kerr. Uh, Graham Kerr. Now, by, for, the, for those of you that are old enough to galloping remember... Galloping Gourmet. Yes. He was the Galloping Gourmet He's on television in the 60s. So, these recipes have not been lab tested, but have been love tested by our family and friends. This literally has the address of the Pan Am building in... Uh, New York City, right above Union um, uh, Grand Central Station. Station. It's Pan American World Airways Pan Am Building, 45th floor, New York, New York, 10017. So it like literally has from like all the hostess for the mostest. Uh, <laughs> so like books and like, you know. Who knows of this stuff? I love the font because it's that mimeograph bad, you know, type See, font. Donna, Donna knows the Galloping Gourmet. Yeah, she everybody says, knows. love Graham Kerr. Well, it's Pan Am. And then this one I found also through a public library that they were dumping. This is <laughs> Fast World Airways Restaurant Cookbook. This is really cool. And you're like Ooh. thinking, oh, SAS. But Scandinavian Airways? Yeah. Yes. Scandinavian Wearways. This Wearways. <laughs> um, <laughs> night, first printing 1960. So this is based on recipes from all around the world that Scandinavia did. This was circa 1973. And this one was... Um, 1954. And look oh. at that. So, and here, these will be really cool to do. So, and here is Jim of More Sunshine, please. Can I'm fast. More Sunshine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank awesome. you, Sir Richard of Howard. I appreciate the shameless plug. So, yeah, that's going to be on Thursday nights. Uh, we are going to be probably doing this at about 10 p.m. Between, we'll start sometime between 9 and 10 p.m., about like we're doing now. Uh, and we're going to go through the cookbook. It may take us about 30, 45 minutes to go through it. But it's going to be a very loose show. So you can actually ask questions. You can comment on the things that we're, we're observing in the cookbook. But we want some interaction with uh, the recipes and things and tell you what, what we think of them. Now, right now, I'm going to send Doug into the kitchen. Oh, I got to do that now? Yeah. Uh, How long do I have? Well, Donna wants to know if anyone will get uh, reminders or notifications 
regarding Facebook Live? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know uh, about Facebook Live. I believe that you do get... No, 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 not that. Not yet. Not on that. Not, Why not? Not, not that yet. Okay, well, you <laughs> gotta do it. Yeah, I, I'm... Doug's jumping ahead in the schedule. What we have here is uh, a little bit of PTV ah. Eats. Oh, I haven't made enchilada chicken chili in a long time. And the last time that that I used it, look at that. The last time I used the screen, we had uh, chicken wings. So uh, I forgot to turn that off, but there we go. In this case, it's not chicken wings. It is a can of bread, specifically B and M brown bread, Boston brown bread. Now I you may know, you may know B and M from the company that does baked beans, but they also make brown bread, and it has raisins in it. They cook it in here. Now Doug is not a fan of raisins, but he eat it in this. He used to have this as a kid. Uh, and apparently, Sherry, you did too with Dad? Dad used to get brown bread in a can, and he would take it out and slice it up, and we would have it with a dollop of whipped cream on it. Oh, It was delicious as a kid. I loved it. Yeah, so Doug is, is going to go good. Doug's gonna go open the can and slice it up, and we're going to sample it. So. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sam. Hello, Benji. Welcome to the show tonight. It's good to have you. Benji started a new series on his channel. There he is. He's doing uh, Let's Go to the Park rides. So he's zeroing in on specific rides at theme parks that he goes to. In this case, he shows you all about the electric eel at SeaWorld. Check it out. It's a great, good-looking video. Uh, Benji says, uh, that bread is not the oddest thing I've seen come in a can. That would be a whole chicken in a can I saw on a grocery store shelf. Oh, I've seen, seen that. It's chicken. I've, yeah. I've seen that used on um, chopped. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, whole they did do it that can. way. Yep. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. What did I get? <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot this week. I mean, I got, you know, the stuff that I bought for uh, for this craft. Um, yeah, we've got uh, like several different types of uh, taped I did buy now. a bunch of, of um, galvanized metal things at... Dollar Tree. That's right. That I that's, had been looking and that's for. That those are going to be used for signs, which yeah. uh, we will be doing some photography this week, so we can start posting these signs up in the Etsy in shop. the Etsy shop, the Pepper Tree Villa Etsy shop, which is run by Sherry. And well, it, I wouldn't say that. You know, well, you're the only one that posts the crafts in that <laughs> shop, so <laughs> it's definitely run by you. Okay. But uh, we will be doing some of those signs and making sure that they are offered to people who want to purchase signs made by Sherry. Yeah, I did. I did place an order for some mesh and Halloween ribbon that was supposed to have been to me by Wednesday, and I'm still waiting for it. Almost a week late. Yep. Yeah, almost a week late, and it's supposed to be some mesh used on a wreath that I'm having done for my office door. And it's not a traditional Halloween uh, wreath. It's more based on um, the episode of Schitt's Creek around the crows have eyes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The crows have I did, eyes. I did finish one fall wreath that's hanging up in the house already that was made with, uh, believe it or not, Hula skirts. Hula skirts from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and it is, it's a lot prettier than it sounds. And that's coming from me. 
Yeah, I told him I was going to do it, and he wasn't too sure about that. I wasn't. She said, I'm going to do it. He looked at me like I was crazy. Well, she, she first said that she was going to be doing that for my office store, and I went, really? That's <laughs> Oh, he wants to. See, uh, Richard wants to see the fall. Uh, the skirt? fall decor remote. That's but, coming. Uh, that, that's coming. We don't have a remote going yeah, on. As here. soon as Doug is finished getting the bread in here, we're going to send him back out with his uh, phone. We're going to do a remote. Uh, and ours isn't totally up yet. So breaking news: There's been a ribbon thief. A ribbon thief found in Lake Mary, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I could bring the wreath down and show it. Yeah, you could. Let me go get it. Okay. That yeah. leaves Narnie left on the show here. Yeah. So, Ben, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm I'm doing much better. I'm st I've been walking around a little bit more normal. I'm still in my boot, but uh, the the wounds on my face have pretty much healed over. The bruising is going down significantly. And uh, I'm three weeks into a six week period of waiting for my toe to heal, okay. which that's not bad. But right now my, my foot feels a little fuzzy. I don't know how, it, how else to explain it, I've but uh, ears. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, probably, it's, just, it's one yeah. of those weird things. Now this is that brown bread that Doug just got a slice of from. Speaking of weird things. And how is it? Yep, it's childhood. <laughs> it hasn't changed. It actually, it's pretty good. They make King Arthur baking or King Arthur flour makes the vessel that you can make your own from scratch, fresh. In a can? Yeah, you can make this. When I was, when I was little, the recipes used to call just for a regular can. Oh yeah, you can you just, definitely you can use a, a a normal soup can. Yeah. <laughs> we just got a super chat from two eleven from Gene G Junior. Gene, thank you so much for the super chat. We really appreciate it. This, this was supposed to expire July of last year. <laughs> actually, <laughs> in the pantry, I forgot about it. <laughs> the cake. It's, it's actually pretty bread? good. I told you, Dad loved it. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. But of course, so, Dad was the type, the, the same person who liked head cheese. So yeah, the, that's true. Dad did like mm -hmm. head cheese. Okay, so uh, we're gonna send Doug out on remote. Uh, but uh, Richard is asking, how many days until Disneyland? And uh, we actually have a little countdown thing that's floating around. Wow. And it's a hundred days today to wow. Disneyland that we will be there for the New Year's Eve celebration weekend. Or no, whatever. we're not going to be there for the New Year's Eve celebration. We're going to be there for the 20th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion holiday. That too. When he, I was there for the op I did the, for the the ceremony kind of thing, the premiere of the Haunted Mansion holiday. And out of 20 years, I've probably done. 14 of them i think i've probably missed only four or six years yeah by the way this bread would make great toast it's, it wasn't a toaster yeah it's, it's really uh, good it's good isn't it so do you want to sherry, take a sherry sherry did bring the wreath down okay so uh, we can show you a sample of what this looks like my my hula skirt wreath it's amazing that, that was a hula skirt yeah one and a half actually so there's there's a, a plastic ring that was used around on the back we've got a, a slap back echo okay. doug's phone but uh let me close the door here but uh yeah this is this is the wreath and that's great yeah what uh, you use mostly Dollar Tree? Items? Everything on that except for the ribbon and the frame are Dollar Tree. So, um, so we're gonna go beautiful. Through. Now we've got a remote right now. Doug is here in our. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, I see a is. Halloween tree. He's there at the Halloween tree, definitely. It's uh, 
Let me go ahead and see if I can do a solo here. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Oh, I guess I can't. Uh, maybe I can. Interesting. I thought I could. Um, okay. Anyway, this is our this is uh, some of the decor in our family room of the villa. You'll see that's Snoopy and uh, a lot of Good Hallmark start. ornaments on a tree. <laughs> Do you hear that? There? Sounds like me. <laughs> that's that's really cute. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do uh, that to show the whole screen right there. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. So there we have the... Uh... <laughs> it's a great pumpkin. So we have a lot of the different decor like that. And the thing is that those those particular ornaments are all from Hallmark, of course. Um, yeah, definitely. And then, of course, we have some things from Disneyland. There is Mickey. And, and you'll see that ribbon there? That was uh, from the wreath that you're going to be seeing soon that Sherry made. We've got some of the 50th anniversary pins. And that's also from the Haunted Mansion Holiday. That is uh, representing the things that you see, the angels that you see in Rockefeller Center. Uh, and there's Jack on it, but Scary Teddy's there, and so is the, the duck, and uh, Mr. Toad. And the Hatbox Ghost. The Hatbox Ghost is there. Hello, Tina. Good to have you with us. And uh, yeah, there, there's uh, Jack with his sleigh, and uh, some of the gargoyles from the you remember, oh, you'll see those in the art gallery of the Haunted Mansion. So there, there's Lucy and uh, Charlie Brown. So that's what this thing looks like far away. And I painted that ghost in a ceramic shop 31 years ago. <laughs> Can you believe that? Never this... did you think you would ever use it like that, right? This was the date? October 3rd, 2001. This was the gift they gave out for the Haunted Mansion Holiday premiere. It's the float, it's the card deck to the seance room. Now, those, oh. yeah, those are 13 cards that float around the, the seance room where Madame Leota is. So yeah, that's I still need to make the tree topper, but it's going to be Welcome Great Pumpkin. Yeah, the tree topper is going to have the sign for Welcome Great Pumpkin. Then this that is the couch. <laughs> that nobody can sit on because of the pillows. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is the coffee table. And then there's the... Welcome Great Pumpkin. And these really yeah, cool. Yeah, we have premiere merch from the Haunted Mansion Holiday. So, yeah. And then some of the birds that uh, we received from Ben. Over here, we have just a little pumpkin patch, pumpkin farm sign, and our Mickey Mouse popcorn bucket. That, that bottle. That of sign was stolen from my house. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bottle of wine from the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Festival. Oh, and there you see, that's Jacques. Named after Jacques Pepin, that is our sourdough starter. Uh, it's just about ready to put in the refrigerator. Uh, it is growing. And then we have some more decor there on the counter. Uh, you'll notice there are some turkeys there that are that light up. Yeah, we have fun with uh, some of the decor that we do here at the house. So there's our little display right there. Then the coup de gras of coup de gras. So that's where you guys see the <laughs> tree on the back. That's where the tree is. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let me turn on the light. Okay, here we go. This is what the video is, people. 
It's a Jack Skellington Haunted Mansion loofah wreath. Isn't that absolutely insane? Where where did you get the Jack Skellington doll? <laughs> where, where did you get the Jack Skellington doll? She's Sherry said she found it on Amazon. I found it on Amazon. Oh wow. But look at look how Look how intricate some of the ribbons are. That's just beautiful. The only thing we're waiting for is zero that Jeremy did. Um, On his 3D, 3D printed. printed. He'll, he'll sit right there. Printed. He'll sit right there. Yeah. It people it like you have to see this in person. There is no way, you know, this video is given it any justice. It was fun. Katie Max. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Welcome Katie. And then um, Mar says, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, wow. Yeah. It, it, it's it's sick. sick. It's just appropriate that it's hanging next to the tapestries we have of the stretching portraits. So uh, In the grand foyer? Yeah. And that's one of the larger wreaths that I've done. That's done on an 18-inch wreath frame. I usually use 14-inch, so... To give you an idea, that's pretty massive. That's huge. This is big. But we wanted something for Jack, and then we'll put, usually he's in a Santa outfit for Christmas. And they did sell one at Disneyland about this size, but I was not going to spend like $35. So we'll just get a Santa hat, and I'll have this out for Christmas. <laughs> and then the birds. You guys all seen that. It's not that we don't like Disneyland, do we? <laughs> and then this is the mantle. These are light up turkeys. Wow. Those turkeys we found at an estate sale in a backyard. They were just in a pile somewhere. And the guy that was checking us out said, Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> we paid like $3 for the lights. It was great. Wow. We love thrifting and estate sales. So you find some great deals. And so the wreath will go up here. And this is the bubble lights will go up. Yeah, right now, if Doug could, yeah, see right now, that is actually a picture. Uh, if you're on Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland, you will see that at the Blue Bayou. That's the actual Blue Bayou Plantation House uh, for the set. It's 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 beautiful setting. It really is. So, yeah, that's uh, our... And if you didn't know what that was, it doesn't look like it would be Disney, but it definitely is. No, it does not look Disney. And right above uh, Brian here, knows about it. Oh, Brian. That area, the entrance to that area is Club 33. I know because I've been there. Okay, so <laughs> this is... The, the villa has brand new piece of cooking equipment announcement to follow. So this is the Ode to Christmas tree with purpley lights. Yeah, that's our Halloween tree. Okay. Glad you guys like. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't that, it great? that was so nice. Isn't that wonderful? And that's just that's just a, a piece of Christmas or a piece of decor. Just wait till Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Help us all. Yeah, Christmas is even a. It's Christmas is a lot, lot bigger. For those of you who are new to the channel, you'll see what we mean when we start showing things in October. Oh yeah, definitely. But I, I do have to say that for fall, we probably outdo them with decorations. Absolutely, no. you do. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, we've got two, two huge two trees. trees. Oh, that's right. We've got the two trees. We've got the garlands in the kitchen. We have the garlands in the hallway all for fall. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we outdo them for fall. This is Halloween. This well, we do the uh, garlands up on the kitchen, but we didn't put it out this year. Yeah, we didn't. But, uh, well, we have said that it's fall craft time. So how about a little craft time? We'll do a demo. <laughs> It's craft time. Let me put away. I'm working on a turkey wreath. And Ben, you're eating tur you're eating uh, 
pizza. That's, it's pepperoni pizza because today is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Okay, Doug, do you, you have a all of your... On Saturday? It was National Cheeseburger Day on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We had cheeseburgers in too. We failed on both of those days. Yeah, we did. But believe me, we will be making up for that with the uh, cooking appliance that Richard mentioned. So, uh, okay. Oh, actually appliances, but... What we are going to do is... Do we need to push this down so people can see what we're doing? Um, I don't think so. Okay. But what we are going to be crafting with what, phones. Not yet. Yeah. That's coming. What we are going to do is take 16 plain um, canning jar lit rings... You can either spray paint them orange or you can do it the lazy way like I did and put tape on them if the tape will stay. Washi tape. Washi tape, which is scrapbooking tape. And you can get it pretty much at any craft store. And so I'm just going to finish this last one up and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Doug, do you have all of yours taped? Yeah, I did. he does. Good. So you just tape it all right around. Right here on the side we have... All of our bands have tape on them that Doug put on. Yeah, that's I'm doing the last one now. Okay. They don't, the ends don't stick. They will once you get them put together. Oh, wrong appliance. Yeah. <laughs> Using pliers. Uh, or those breaking pliers. news, okay. Sherry recognized as the best crafter on YouTube. Ben, did you read oh. your Wi-Fi? Because you're blurry again. You're all speckly. You're 480. Oh. Okay, uh, take it off me for a little bit. Okay. There we go. Hi, people. Hi. But yeah, so anyway, Sherry uh, had us prepare these ahead of time. Otherwise, you'd be sitting here for half an hour watching us just put tape on these rings. These are band rings for um, canning jars. We use a lot of these, actually. We can't do jam because it's too hot. Yeah. But how's that? There we go. Okay. That better? Yes. Can, can you see us better now? Yes. So yeah. 16 rings and you just start putting them all together like this. Get a piece Here, of wire. Let, let, let's, let's put this down a little bit so that they can see what you're okay. doing. Get a piece of wire and then just put it through all of them. And you're just going to start putting them on there. You just want to make sure that they're all in the same direction. And by that, I mean, you know, there's a top on these rings. Yeah, yeah. So you just want to make sure that it's all. Here, give me some and then you can put them together. All the same. Another orangey. Yeah, let's get the orange. And then we'll take this one. I didn't want to use any paint on these because after we're done, yeah, we're fine. it'll probably go to uh, Doug and Arnie to use for their jam. They're gold people. These are very, very good. So I just wanted to make sure that we had... Um, but it's a... This is clever. This is clever. Okay. Okay. I got to say, this is one of my favorite craps I've ever seen because I don't have to do it. <laughs> You're a wimp. I'm just saying. It's nice to watch it being done. So where's our wire? Here we go. Did you bring wire cutters? I'm not using my scissors. No, I do not have wire cutters. I can okay, so grab those. Hold it for me, then, then I can, then I can uh, pull it tight. Let's see. Let, let okay. Go. We're fishing all the rings through a wire right now, Sherry. I've got to go get yep. some hair snip. Okay. This kind of looks like the bottom of Genie's bottle on I Dream of Genie. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So just twist the wire around it. You could also use a piece of ribbon if you wanted, but I find that I have more control with the wire. Well, it's a little more rigid, so you can really form it the way you want instead of it being loose. 
trim those wire ends off turn it in and then you're just going to work on arranging them sherry anna wants to know how long do you cut the wire you know i don't have a measurement on that i just kind of um cut just a long piece of wire to hold it all together Gee, that's an interesting comment because as we were practicing this yesterday, that is exactly what we said. Says this reminds us of a slinky. Um, Ooh, look, Sherry it. got hers. Sherry got hers to look like it's actually supposed to look. But what I'm looking for is to see if it. What are you looking for? To see if, if it came undone. Did it come undone? I don't think so. I think if it came undone, you'd see. Yeah. Okay. The rings would be falling apart. So how do you get it so it fans out? You just have to put... You just have to work with it because the wire... You're going to have to leave the wire a little bit loose. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this thing's a mess. Donna, it uses 16 bands. 16 bands. And like I said, you can either spray paint them or you can... Um, or use tape, or even just leave them plain if you want. Yeah. And then you take a cinnamon stick. Most people use these in their apple cider or to cook with. Sherry's using it as a stem for her pumpkin. And you just put it right down in the middle. Oh, that one's a little too fat. And what I will do with these is I usually try not to glue anything in place simply so that I can take them apart and not have to worry about it. You let her do this. So you just put. Oh, that's cute. You just put. And then you can either cut some leaves or, like I did, I just took some from a uh, from one of my garlands. And you can put a couple of things in there. <laughs> Sounds like they're losing it on the other side. <laughs> well, then, I've got it set up on the table right now. It's all very just, loose, but it's it's there. It it's loose, but once you put the pumpkin stem in, it tightens up some too. I uh, know it isn't. Yeah, ours isn't gonna tighten up because of how loose the wire is. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I have to tighten oh, it a bit. Oh, it's seriously feeble. I just have to tighten it some more. And then I just take some twine. What's the twine for? You'll see. Okay, I got to say, this is hands down my favorite craft we've ever done. You want me to make you tie a bow? No. Okay. So then I just take my twine and I'll double it up or quadruple it up depending on how the spirit moves me. Okay. <laughs> we have, we have ours sitting here on it's, the table right he's now. He's very feeble, but uh, yeah, it's just a little loose, but it's a lot better than it was. So, okay. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. So now all we need is the, is the cinnamon stick, I guess. The cinnamon stick inside. What's yep. the, what's the blue item in front of uh, the pumpkin? Oh, that's just Doug's glass. My sippy cap. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doug's... Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's his sippy cup. <laughs> so, you guys want to see the ribbons? Oh. Well, this is this is what it looks like finished, Arnie. Yeah. This is going to be... Well, Wait a minute. That was on the Haunted Mansion. The, uh, Wait a minute, Doug. Hold on, Doug. That's what the pumpkin is supposed to look like finished. Now, I like that. It's with the raffia that tied around it and uh -huh. the cinnamon stick as the stem. Yep. And then, and, you just, just, and then you just glue those leaves in place? You know, I don't even glue them so that I can take them apart and take the tape off and then... And you can use the rings for actual use them, yeah. rings yeah. for your jam. But that's that's what it would sit like on a table. <laughs> don't scale. What's the twine for? You'll see. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what it looks like finished and what it would sit like on your table. Yeah. That's very cute. Sherry, that's really nice. I like that. The other thing you can do if you really feel like doing something that's rather simple is get a length of 
uh, aluminum duct from uh, like Lowe's or Home Depot, the kind you use to connect the air vent for a dryer, a clothes dryer. And you can just wrap it, wrap it around. Oh. Sorry, guys, for running oh. late on your live feed. I work nights. Great Halloween decorations, Will and Vic. Oh. Thank you so much, guys. We love Will and Victoria. Yeah, so you can get <laughs> Send them a good piece. house juju. Yeah. You can get a piece of duck, wrap it around so that it, it shapes like this pumpkin. Put one, one end in the other, spray paint it, put a stem on it, a leaf, and you've got a, a pumpkin. Sci fi thing you could just like that. Just spray paint that. <laughs> no, you could. What you could spray paint it. Yeah, you can spray paint these rings. I didn't want to take the time to do that because it's a pain in the neck. Hey, no, Wanda, I need these. These things are gold. I can't be wasting them on a hello, Wanda. A crafty. Yeah, Wanda. that's one reason why I that's also a reason why I didn't paint them because then you can take them and use them but yeah right. that's, our supplies are not that's it yeah that's Gary, it. that looks fantastic well yeah, done that's... and that's been another craft time with Gary oh, as a reminder to those of you that are just joining us Sherry has recorded her first crafting video made with these ribbons and it's going to be <laughs> Doug's obsessed. Yes. Oh no. That beautiful. video that video will be premiering on her own channel Crafting with Sherry, part of the PTV network. We're growing. We are growing. We're going to have three channels under the PTV network. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I need to make bow ties and they're going to go on the tree because the tree is going to coalesce and tie into the wreath that's above the mantle yeah. so i just you did the bow so quick sherry i wasn't paying attention so we're gonna have to facetime and you're gonna have to show me do this twist this and then it's, it's, it's no important. you don't need to do it's, all it's of that sherry pam yeah. says that you make things look so easy so yeah. pam is do, not wrong <laughs> yeah. do you twist no you don't twist no you fold fine fine Fold. No, 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 Daddy. <laughs> you no. need to show me. You did it so quick. All I did was, okay, find the middle. <laughs> fold it right in half. Okay. Now, open it up. Okay. Bring one of those tails over, just right on top of it. Like, it doesn't even, yeah, it doesn't even, yeah, just me? like that. It doesn't matter. Okay. It, you can do it. Just make sure that you've got a loop long enough with a tail okay. that you would like. <laughs> then the other the other one, you do the same thing with it, just in the opposite direction. Right on top. No, nope, right on top of it. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Right on top of it? I have already have this on top of it. <laughs> oh, Doug, let me go get a piece of ribbon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Am I the only one who has stayed? No, I know. I made bows. I made a giant bow, but I can't make a bow tie. It's like rub it over the side. Wanda, you'll love. You stick around. You'll you'll love all the ribbons on this because it's all purple. You'll be seeing it for Friendsgiving for sure. Oh, the big loofah wreath that we made. Yeah, it's getting warm in here. <laughs> okay, it's centered. You make a loop. I, I'm gonna wait because yeah, you know th that's the thing. Sherry is so good with things. It was getting late and I was tired and hormonal. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don is right. This is serious. Sherry's getting ribbon. Yeah. I <laughs> she's supposed to show me. I can make I, the uh, the you know the ribbon that goes me, like this. Let me I just make cut those. A let me just cut a random link. Here, Wanda okay. saying, is your channel live? Can you post a link for us to subscribe? No, it's not no. live yet. The video's not been edited recorded yesterday. I have to edit the video and then I'll upload it. And then Sherry's going to start making 
content on a regular basis, and I will be editing her videos for her. Okay, the, Doug. The videos are right there. Doug. What? There's, there's the center, okay? Let's get the center again. I'm serious about this. Wanda wants to know if you need a hug. Oh, I need more than a hug, sweet cheeks. <laughs> bring, bring this one, bring one tail right over to the middle like that. Sweet okay. cheeks. So you're holding the, the lead. Okay, so hold that up. Do See? It. No, no. Okay. Hold. Here's the middle. Okay. Bring, bring your tail. Just bring it over like this. So you've got a loop the size you want. So okay. It's going to be like that. No, you're doing it backwards. Is there you ready for the, for, you, ready, oh. you ready for the next step? Yes, we're ready for the next step. Take your opposite tail and just come across the front like that to the center. Okay. There I think it it's like this. I can't. Maybe okay. Maybe wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I okay. can I think so. Yeah, that looks right. And then you just gather uh, it. Like I would know. Then you just uh, gather uh. it in the center, put your piece of wire on, mm -hmm. and pull the tails down. <laughs> we broke Ben. <laughs> so like this. Yeah, and then just gather it in the center. You're just crisscrossing it in yeah. front on the center. Okay. I can't bring my tail over like that. Is this what family gatherings are like at PTV? Yes, actually, <laughs> they are. <laughs> Um, it's true. without the it, colorful language it's true they are now you just twist tie it yeah get it nice and tight as tight as you can oh and then geez. bring it around the back and then just twist it and the easiest thing to do is to hold the ribbon or hold the wire and twist the ribbon yeah that way you get a nice tight and then you're done and then you trim off the the tails so that they're finished and we all know how painful that can be and you can either do them dovetail them or you can do them. Uh, okay, Sherry, you said dovetail. Show people what you mean by a dovetail. A dovetail, you take your ribbon. Where are your scissors? Right here. Okay. You take your ribbon, you fold it in half, and then you cut from the center at a slant toward yep. the finished edge of the ribbon. Yeah. You got cut you got it. Direction. And then you've got a dovetail. So this way. Yeah. Let me see. That's 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 called a dovetail. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This is what Doug's looks like. That's perfect. There you I go. I got it. That's all I needed to know. Thank you very much. We can leave now. Can we get some applause, <laughs> please? <laughs> this. this is glitter. I want to might do this out later. I don't know. Oh, it has, it has yeah. some very herpes on it. So. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, so the, the other way. That's it. Okay, like this. Yeah. Find the so, center. <laughs> yep, Doug nailed it. You're right. He did. Okay, so um, by the way, as long as we're here, we had one of our villagers show up, contact me. Uh, she went thrifting. That's Surfer Girl 326 or Cherie went thrifting over the weekend, I guess. Without she found me. a couple of Christmas trees. And I said, Can you please send me a picture? And uh, there we are. She got a couple of Christmas trees thrifting. She says that she picked them up for a song, just like $5 or something like that. They were really cheap. Wow. And is that one, a of them, one? one of them actually is purple. So, Wanda. You're going to have to fight Cherie. She's got a purple Christmas tree. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but yeah, oh, Cherie. God. By the way, if you would like us to show any of your Christmas finds, any of your decor for thrifting like that, please send us email. Uh, our email is going to be changing soon. But for right now, it's peppertreevilla at gmail.com. We'll let you know when the email changes because we have the peppertreevilla.com domain. We're going to get an email that is set to that, but that's coming soon. Uh, we have to set it up. We just got an announcement from Apple that it's just included in our service that we can have email. Oh, email. that's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And uh, Paul actually has a good segment for the show. Teaching Doug. <laughs> Is that like Finding Nemo? <laughs> I like it. But yeah, Doug's doing a pretty good job here of getting these ribbons right. It's looking good. I think yeah, I, I wanted to come. I wanted to come home last night. That's why I didn't stop to make all your bows. I figured you could do it. Oh, I can. I just you wear twist and twist, and I'm like, oh, God. thank, thank you, Donna. <laughs> you drop that. That is our email. So again, if you if you're out and about, you find that you are doing any uh, finds of Christmas decorations or anything like that, or something that you found that was interesting when you were thrifting, send us a picture email and we'd love to share that during a segment here on ptv live so I like this right well like i said it was a full show tonight i don't know if richard felt that it was a full show or not but no, i thought it was a very full show i see so <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well sherry thank you so much for showing us that craft i really like that you're welcome uh ben what yes. Well, hold on. The next two crafts will be Halloween related. So I'm looking forward to those. Those will be fun. Yeah. There you go. There, there it is. Very good, Doug. Okay. So Ben has Life with Ben coming up. And that's Thursdays only on PTV. Every Thursday we get a new video on our channel and it's most likely going to be Life with Ben. Ben, tell us a little bit about the video for this week. Uh, well, we're kind of coming down to the home stretch on 925 day as we approach September 25th this coming Saturday. So yesterday, Arnie, Doug, Sherry, and I went to a couple of places and we've we, uh, we are going to update you on one of the places we went to uh, for coffee. And that's this coming Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, only here on PTV. Exactly. Now, I don't know if I'll be here next Monday night or not. I'm telling you guys ahead of time. Yeah. And why is that, Sherry? Because it will be my 41st wedding anniversary. Oh, that's right. Yep. <laughs> September 27th. To September 27th will be 41 years. It's her actual wedding anniversary. So, yeah, she will be there definitely uh, enjoying her wedding Maybe. with Tom. Well, it depends, you know, whether or not he's going to be able to, if he's going to have to go to bed early or not. Because my husband gets up at four in the morning to go to work at the Golden Gate Bridge. So. That's right. He does get up quite We may time. celebrate on the weekend. If we do, then I'll be here Monday night. I mean, that was like my 39th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. I spent with my brother at Disneyland. My husband was here at home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I, I went with my husband's blessing because he does not like Disneyland. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, it's like they like it, but they don't. He, he was I, Yeah, I should have known that. Toleration. I should have known that before I married him. That may have been a game changer. Yeah. So, Although, you know, being that he gave you his blessing and that was the last time you and I were able to go to Disneyland, that, uh, d did he curse it or something? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. But, uh, so oh, anyway, that was 2019? This, this yeah. Saturday, this Saturday is a nine, is nine to five, September 25th. So, uh, let me, let me tell you a little bit about 925 Day. We're celebrating hashtag 925 Day here on Pepper Tree Villa. What is 925 Day? The area code in East Contra Costa and Alameda counties in the San Francisco Bay Area is 925. So we're taking September 25th or 925 and setting it aside to celebrate our local restaurants. We want everyone in our area to patronize their local restaurants in the 925 area code all day long. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Saturday, September 25th. So we will be 
live. We will have a couple of live shows on Saturday from a couple locations in nine, the area code 925. We will be broadcasting coffee in Pittsburgh, California. Uh, Steel Town, of course, is a nod to the town of Pittsburgh. Not just Pennsylvania, but California, where we used to uh, steel manufacturing plants in this area of the county. Then, in the afternoon, we will be at the Monster Wings. That is the chicken wing restaurant that we did a review on uh, a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, definitely don't want to miss that. Oh, and uh, oh, by the way, I told Noah. Noah, drop, drop the link to your latest video. You're one of our mods, so go ahead and drop the link to one of your to your latest video for today. He did a word scramble. It was kind of cute today. It's all about eating at Walt Disney World. <laughs> so, yeah, I loved it. But yeah, so September 25th, we will be doing at least two live streams during the day on here on PTV. So uh, uh, Ben and Doug and I will be doing that. Sherry, I don't know if you'll be joining us for any of it. But you're probably- I'm planning there. on it. You are planning on being there? Fantastic. Yeah. So it will be the four of us on set together. We will be enjoying some coffee and other things. <laughs> Doug's got the hang of it. He's a machine. Well, it's, 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 I'm not doing the glitter until yeah. I'm outside. So that, this stuff is bizarre. Yeah. So anyway, join us on Saturday, at least for two shows. Tell your friends and your family. We will be live streaming from a couple of uh, eating establishments in the 925. We're really looking forward to it. I guess that is about it for tonight. Oh, are you working with that jelly ribbon, Doug? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, the jelly that's, ribbon is fun. It's the same stuff that jelly the jelly uh, jelly shoes were made out of. Yeah, and that yeah. made everybody's feet stink. <laughs> Just don't wear the bows on your feet. You'll be okay. Oh, I hated that in the 80s, and I'm not going to wear them now. So there we go. Right there. Anyway. I'm Arnie. I'm Doug. I'm Ben. I'm Sherry. So as we say goodnight, I want to thank Gene specifically for the super chat that we thank had tonight. You, thank you, Gene. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, and to our moderators for the help. Thank you so much for everything that you do for us. And uh, to you, all of our village, we enjoy spending this time with you. We've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sci-fi would like to see Doug in jelly shoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, thank you so much for this episode of PTV Live. We will be back again tonight at the same time, 10.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. But in the meantime, have a magical evening and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And everyone, it's now time for your moment of groovy where you'll enjoy things that happened for us during the last week. Good night, Good night. everyone.